Hi, Heather. Thank you for joining us today on Super User TV here at the Barcelona Summit. Um, can, we've talked to you a few uh, summits ago, but can you kind of tell us what's new with OPNFE right now? Yeah, sure. Um, we recently had our Colorado release, which is our third release. Uh, it was uh, based on uh, OpenStack uh, Mitaka. Uh, in that release, we had a number of feature imp incremental feature improvements uh, to uh, help support NFE use cases, including uh, continued uh, fault management uh, improvements, IPv6 support, service function chaining, and um, better uh, VPN layer two and layer three support. Awesome, so you talked about fault management there a little bit. So on Tuesday morning, you were in the keynotes in the Foundation Lounge, and we saw you do a demo on NFE fault management. Can you kind of walk us through what that demo meant and what it really means for global telecoms that are using OpenStack and OPNFE? Yeah, so um, that demo showed sort of two scenarios. Um, one, using sort of older um, OpenStack um, and uh, sort of when uh, uh, Mark started pulling cables, uh, VM failed, um, and it took a while to detect failover so they couldn't go to the uh, other VM, so the uh, mobile call that we were doing uh, dropped. Um, and then sort of they talked a little bit about what the OPNFE doctor project had done, uh, which was bring in a number of different um, blueprints and patches across a number of different open stack projects to increase uh, how fast fault detection and failover could happen. And so then they sort of showed uh, sort of the updated scenario with uh, OpenStack Newton uh, running on an actual 5G mobile core um, for a service provider. And uh, at that point with sort of like all the things that they've added, uh, uh, Mark started cutting cords with uh, scissors, uh, but the uh, mobile call was able to stay up and did not get dropped even though um, lots of the the VMs and ports were uh, being disabled rather forcefully by the Chaos Monkey. Yeah, it was definitely, you could hear the ga collective gasp in the audience. Yeah. And they were just like, oh my gosh, what happened? Um, yeah, but it just, I mean, it, it just shows you kind of uh, some of the strides being made uh, in OpenStack to support you know, some of those use cases of supporting sort of the global communications network and some of the uh, rel uh, reliability and resilience um, needs that they have. So it's, it's a great example of the telecom industry, OPNFE and OpenStack uh, working together. Awesome, and so what's next for OPNFE? What, what can we expect to see next from you guys? Yeah, so um, one of the next big things we have is we have a plug fest coming up uh, in December at the University of New Hampshire. So that's going to be really exciting. And then um, our Danube release is coming out in spring of next year. Awesome, well we look forward to talking to you then and seeing what's new with OPNFE then. All right, cool, thank you. Thanks, Heather. Great to be here.